All right, everyone. This is a different topic than usual, but I think it's really important to talk about. If you don't read or just don't pay attention, today's video is about colorism and racism stuff in K pop. I will be using the word colorism and racism very loosely. This video is for educational purposes and does include my opinions that are not facts. Do not send hate to any of the people mentioned in this video. Now let's talk about colorism in K-pop. This entire idea started yesterday while with a friend, whom was babysitting my siblings, and we were watching a video on someone talking about why they hate a new idol named, Lana. I don't have any problem with Lana personally and we will get into why during this video. While we watched the video it made me realize how racist some, no, most of us foreigner fans are. It seems like mostly K fans liked her aside from me and my friend. This brings me to my first point something I would like to point out is many idols and Korean including. Lisa from Blackpink. Sana from Twice. Taizu from Twice. And Bam Bam from God7 just to name a few. As you can tell many of your favorite idols are. Not. Korean. And they never will be. Facts. It's not a big deal if someone is not Korean in the K-pop industry never was and never should. Now for my next point. Ethnicity does not equal nationality. For example my nationality is American but my ethnicity is African American and Hispanic. It's ridiculous how people judge of ethnicity rather than nationality. For example Felix from Stray Kids ethnicity Korean but his nationality is Australian. You see, he's not from Korea either but no one has a problem with this. BTW I love Felix and have nothing against him just a example. Number 3 as long as the song is mostly in Korean in his K-pop. No matter the race. Next at number 4 Lana again. Just because you have a Korean name doesn't make you a Korea boo. The definition of Koribu and I quote is someone who is obsessed with Korean culture so much they denounce their own culture and call themselves Korean. However there is a line. If someone just likes the music, language and culture they are not classed as a Koribu. Men a K-pop idol give themselves a English name that is easier to pronounce than their birth name and let me say Lana's birth name is very difficult to say how can you expect people to say. That 24 7 it's ridiculous. Now I have two questions for you. Would you classify someone black singing or producing a song as Korean pop? Would you classify some Korean singing or producing in Korean K pop? If you have sense, you most likely said yes to the first question and no to the second one. When it comes down to it, language and bass are the only things that matter when it comes to K pop. It's annoying how some fans really think Asian idols should stick to K-pop, C-pop, and J-pop even though they do great in the foreign market. They are practically segregating their idols. It's absolutely terrible. I genuinely question us K-pop fans sometimes. If a foreigner wants to be a K-pop idol so be it.